This video is brought to you by Gladiator Concealment. Link in the description box below. Appreciate y'all watching. Uh, we started a little two-part series where we talked about our rifles and what we thought needed to go on a defensive rifle and uh, just our rifles and how we have them set up. So uh, we already did the video for Kyle's. We're going to talk about mine. And uh, kind of like I did with his, he can jump in and kind of say things here and there and say what he thinks about it. But um, I guess we'll just get started. We'll start at the top. All right, let's say we'll start at the front. Uh, Daniel Defense Birdcage, just a standard A2 Birdcage. Um, I do eventually want to swap that out and uh, maybe put like a, a Midwest two chamber break or or like a um, Lantac Dragon or something like that. I really want something that has the, the shield thing that you can buy that goes with it, mm -hmm. that goes over it and clamps down so you blow the concussion out the front for like classes and stuff. Um, but something along that line, like a Fur Friends CRD or something like that. But um, right now it's just an A2, and that's what it's going to be for the, for the time being. Uh, sights, I run. Um, they're Troy. They're actual Troy sights. But the rear one is LaRue branded, and the front one is Troy branded. But they're both they're both made by Troy. Um, you know, there's there's people's got different feelings about backup sights or just your, your iron sights, whether they should actually be iron or polymer. I've never seen any issue with the, the inbus, the standard inbus sights. Rail, I have a 15 inch BCM uh, KMR. This is not the Alpha. This is the this is the regular KMR. Uh, the Alpha is made more of alum, aluminum. This is like a mix, like aluminum and something that, like aluminum and magnesium or something like that. Still light. Super lightweight. Probably one of the lightest rails on the market. Uh, I think with the barrel nut, it comes in at like less than nine ounces. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy it's light. light. Uh, most rails are about eight ounces, just the rail. Then you got to include the barrel nut. So it's super lightweight. And that's why I went with it. Plus, when I bought it, um, the KMR was the new hotness. That's what everybody was running. So It's still. Yeah, it is. It's still hot. Uh, but MLOC's kind of taking over. Um, Key Mod was the, the big thing at the time. I love it. I won't change it. No reason to, um, but it, it's kind of pricey. It's kind of a pricey rail. Uh, barrel. My barrel is a Daniel Defense, uh, Cold Hammer Forged, Chrome Line One and Seven Twist Barrel. Uh, we really like that barrel set up here on the channel. Um, those things just take a beating, man. Thousands and thousands and thousands of rounds, and they just keep going. Uh, they're accurate enough. They're not the most accurate barrel out there, but they are accurate enough. We're not going to shoot this gun. Right. Um, I do like to have at least a 1 in 8 twist. Um, this is a 1 in 7. But I, I, if I could do anything different, I'd put a 1 in 8 in it. Because a 1 in 8 just handles everything, everything very well. <coughs> I've never had any issue with my 1 in 7. But 1 in 8 really does, does well with everything. Um, when you're looking at ARs and you're talking about the important things in an AR... Everything on the gun can be mediocre, except for your bolt carrier group and your barrel. Um, everything else, like, there's things that you're going to have problems. Of, that's, that's the heart, the heart of the gun. Of the gun. Yeah. Charging handles, if you don't have a good charging handle, you're going to have problems. But for the most part, if you've got a good bolt carrier group and a good barrel, you got a good rifle. And everything fits as far as, as, far as everything's mil spec. I have a Daniel Defense bolt carrier group in that one. They're awesome. I, I can't say nothing. Nothing bad about them uh, it works i've never had any trouble with this gun it just it just runs runs like a top i've run anything from um 77 grain uh sierra, sierra match king 77 grain otm uh 55 grain xm 193 uh ss 109 or um m855 m855 uh green tip all the way down to 55 grain tula and i mean it just it runs it all it eats it everything and it's accurate enough with everything so that's always a plus. Um, charge and handle is a BCM Mod 4. Um, like we talked about in Kyle's video, man. It's, it's spend the money. Yeah. It's worth it. It's worth it. That's a, that's, yeah, that's an upgrade that 
I think maybe you would you think, man, I'm not spending that much money, especially when a, a basic one is so cheap. But when you use it, you're yeah. kind of like, yeah. You're kind of like, God, why did I ever have anything else? Yeah. Um. All right, so castle nut, end plate, uh, buffer tube, spring, and buffer are all Palmetto State Armory. Um, I'm going to preach on Palmetto State again. You know, you can't beat them for the price. I have all of my rifles I've ever built had Palmetto State parts kit to them. Um, <clears throat> Palmetto State does a lower build kit, and you end up buying um, your stock, your grip, and your lower parts kit all in one for like a discounted price. Um, so, and you can't hard to beat. and you can't beat that. But let me tell you this: um, I, uh, I guess it's kind of an incomplete story from how I built my rifle. Um, whenever I bought my rifle, I got the upper. And then I got, uh, the upper came with a lower parts kit. And then I got a completed lower. So I had a upper or lower parts kit just sitting around. Well, before all this election stuff, you know, when it was going on, um, I told my brothers, like, look, you need to go ahead and build your rifle. Uh, I'll uh, get you this at, like, I don't know, I gave it to him on the cheap, like, super cheap. Basically gave it to him and uh, got him some other stuff. And Ryan got him some stuff. And mom got him and anyways he built a rifle well i had it uh put together by a gunsmith and uh the parts kit was in the package you know wrapped up and it was wrapped up it was in a good package they put some you know thought into how they put it together but it was missing a few springs and, and things yeah. and decans and stuff and uh it wasn't a big deal it amounted to like 12 bucks worth of parts but just be aware of that because, uh, like, if somebody like me would have tried to put it together, I would have just been scratching my head. Right. Because, uh, for one, I'm not, you know, I'm not a gunsmith. Two, I'm not super, you know, good with yeah. working on it. I think we proved that whenever yeah. we tried to yeah. uh, install my rail. But, um, anyways, just be aware that if you do get a they, – they just turn out so much stuff. But I think sometimes they're, you know – It happens. Quality does yep. take a hit. And, it happens. Uh, I never even, but honestly, I never even, like, $12 to me wasn't worth bugging them about. Right. I, and I promise you, if you'd have contacted them, they'd have, yeah. shipped, they'd, have, they'd, have, they'd have sent it right out, you know. They'd have shipped it right out to you. But um, I've built I've built a few rifles off of their parts kits, and I've never had any trouble. You know, it's just kind of one of them things. But um, back at the stock, uh, that's a B5 Sop Mod Bravo stock. I love that thing, man. It's not really wide, but it's got a wider cheek piece on it. Got a good cheek wheel. And, uh, and, and it's just sexy looking, man. I just love the way it looks. It's got a good rubber pad on the back. Um, you really beat somebody with it. Yeah, man. It's it's a good solid stock. And uh, B5 makes some good stuff. Uh, up front, Magpul uh, MOE grip that I stippled. And um, it, you, I used to have a B5 on it. I didn't care for the B5. It was too slick. So I put the Magpul on it. I like it a lot better. Um, that is a the lower... The upper is a Daniel Defense upper. It had a it had their standard um, free floated quad rail on it and had a A2 front sight. Swapped all that out. I put a Daniel it's Defense. Heavy. Was, yeah, it was, was heavy. heavy. It was real heavy. And uh, I swapped it out. I put a uh, low pro Daniel Defense low pro gas block on there. And this is a carbine length gas system. Um, it it works. Carbine length works. You never had no issues with it. It's not as soft shooting as the other ones, but it works really good. It'll run dirty. It'll run real dirty. Um. But the lower I built it on, <coughs> excuse me, is a uh, Spikes Tactical uh, Calico Jack lower, and uh, it's really cool. I'll get some close-ups of it. It's a it's a pirate. It's a skull and two swords crossing, and then it says Parlay Plunder and R on it. Like when it's on safe, it's Parlay. When it's on semi-auto, it's on Plunder, and when it's on full auto, it's R. I just thought that was pretty cool. You know, just one of the things. Um, It's not something you got to do, but I, I liked it, so I did it. Um, I would have been just as well off to build on an Anderson lower, but I wanted it, so I spent the money on it. I actually wanted a Punisher lower, and they didn't have one, so I bought the Calico Jack, and I've been happy with it. Uh, B5 uh, trigger guard, extended trigger guard. Those extended trigger guards are nice. They really are. They make a difference with the rifle. My, Mac, my setup has one. Yeah, they're, they're really nice. The You don't get that rubbing that you get with a standard flat one. Uh, let's see. Trigger in it is just a mil spec, Palmetto State mil spec trigger. Uh, they Those mil spec triggers from Palmetto are really, really good. Never had no issues with that. Um, let's see. 
magazines, mag full P mags, man, all day long. I, they're they cheap. Work. They work. No <laughs> issues there. You know when you buy one, it's good to go. Uh, sling is a um, way of the gun Proctor sling. Yeah. Frank Proctor designed that sling. It's a uh, piece of one inch webbing that uh, was sewn together and has those little clasps on it. They're awesome, man. Uh, the one I bought was actually the 550 model, and it uses 550 cord uh, to wrap around a place on the stock and wrap around a place on the rail. Well, I chose to just use the front 550 on the rail and use a uh, quick detach on the back. Uh, I, I like that setup a little better, but if you wanted to save a little weight, you could just put 550 on the back also. I got it where I wanted it, and I taped it down where it wouldn't move. And it, and it serves me well. It's it's been it's been wonderful. It doesn't matter how hot the gun gets. It doesn't bother the paracord. The rail's never going to get hot enough. As long as you don't put it on the barrel or put it on the gas block, you should be in good shape. <clears throat> it's uh, fully adjustable. Let's out really easy. Just grab the little clasp and pull pull it back in to tighten it up. Awesome sling. Under it's like forty bucks shipped. Maybe even less than that. And uh, it comes in like black, brown, multicam. So it's good to go. Now to the light. Um, in my opinion, every every serious defensive rifle should have a set of sights, a set of iron sights, and an optic is is optional. But it should have a set of iron sights, and it should have a white light, and it should have a sling. Um, a sling on a rifle is just like a holster for a pistol. Same thing. If and and I mean, if you have to let go of it. You don't want it on the ground. You want it close to you. Um, optic wise, I had a, I still have a Bushnell. Um, I don't remember the red dot. brand, but it's a, I mean the, the model number, but it's a Bushnell red dot. Works fine, except uh, it doesn't stay on automatic all the time. Has a really short battery life, so I just I took it off. Until uh, I can get something that's a, that has some serious battery life behind it, I'm just going to run irons. But um, my light is a Streamlight TLR, uh, TLR, a Streamlight ProTac 1L rail mount, or Streamlight rail mount ProTac 1L. Anyways, these come on the market last year or year before last, somewhere What's around the there. 1L or the 2L? That's the 2L, okay. 2L. Did I say 1L? 2L, sorry guys. 1L is a small, smaller one. 1L is smaller, it uses one, one CR123 battery, this one uses two. Um, this thing is 600 and... 50 lumens, 625, any, some bright, bright, super bright light. And uh, the thing that's really cool about it is it, it uses the same mounting system as the Scout mount, the um, Surefire Scout mount. So any of your Scout mounts will work with this light. So a Scout, a Surefire Scout is very expensive. It's like 300 bucks, right. give or take. This light's $110 shipped. And, uh, and it comes with all the gear. It comes with the pressure switch. It comes with the uh, clicky tail cap if you don't like pressure switches. It comes with their their rail mount. I mean, it comes with everything. It, it, three or four different ways to um, mount it to the rail. Uh, I mean, it comes with everything. And the thing I love about it is it came with these little rail clips that clip into the Picatinny rail. And you just click your, um, slide this thing in and click it into place. And there it is. It's there. It's not going to come off unless you want it to. And then you can come back with some zip ties and zip tie it down if you want to. But you good. don't have to. Um, I've never had no problems with it coming off or anything like that. So, uh, I love it, man. I love that light. I want to get a good mount for it. But uh, it, it's good, man. It's good to go. But um, you got anything? No. Um, guys, I, I, you know, I, I run a Enforce, but that's just because it was available to me at a good price. Um, but if I, if I didn't, I would be looking at these uh, streamlights. They're, you know, streamlight quality, and I've said it before. I don't know. Maybe we edited uh, that part out of that video. Yeah. I think we did. Anyway, streamlight. Uh, personally, I have them, and I beat the crap out of mine. Uh, not necessarily on purpose, just over time yep. with use, and uh, they're proven and um, they work. Yeah, and that that one is made to go on a gun. There, you know, yep. you. There's a lot of questions. Like some people like to take the. Uh, what is it? The polymer ones, and they'll throw them out there on the guns. Yeah. Uh, is it the ProTac? I don't. PolyTac. PolyTac. PolyTac, and they'll put them out there, and you can do that, but it's not. It's not. It's not really you know, made. It's for not the gun. made for the recoil, for the you know the impulse from the gun. 
but that's that that right there is is a gun, is a gun light, and that's what it's meant for. And it is, uh, it's, it's awesome. So that's that's a good buy, and uh, technology has come so far in flashlights. Yep. Uh, it seems like kind of a goofy thing to say because it looks like a flashlight. But it has. But the alum- <laughs> <coughs> the, the aluminums, the lumens available, uh, is is just increasing. And, yep. uh You know how many lumens do you want? You should probably want all of them. All of them. All you can get. All you can get. And uh, and I'm gonna tell you something else about that light. It has the ten tap technology. Um, I have it set up as momentary only, and then I can hold, click this down, and then it'll turn on, That's awesome. and then click it off. But I can change it to do strobe, to do e- all kind of stuff. There's 10, 10 different modes I can change it to, just by tapping this 10 times and then yeah. going through the modes. I love the position. Okay, with this rail, you see guys doing the C-clamp, and I always thought the same thing. That was because I had a full-size rail. When I got a smaller rail, like, and I put my hand on the gun, you know, it's just it's more natural to get that hand yep. right there, and I love the placement that this switch allows you to get. Yep. I mean, right there. Well, then, like if you're if you're running it, and and some some schools teach different things, but like if you're running it and you're going to cover and you're going to the other side, you're going to switch the gun. Well, guess what? I can still lean still out and work my it. light. So that's one thing. That's why a lot of guys will mount the light on top of the rail. So they can run it with either hand. Well, by using that pad, that pressure pad, on top of the rail, then I can run it with either hand. And that, that's really awesome to be able to do that. Um, one other thing, and then I'll let you guys go. Um, the reason that I run a 15-inch rail, and you might just run a 15-inch rail on yours because you might have the same thought process. But um, a lot of guys will run full-length rails because they're sexy. And they are. I love the way a full length rail looks, but there's there's use behind a full length rail. If you ever shoot any distance, anything at distance, if you come up behind cover or whatever, you get in a prone, whatever you're gonna do, and you rest that barrel on that on that piece of cover, you're gonna miss your target because it that barrel touching that puts just enough flex or whatever in it to mess it up, and you're gonna miss. Having a full length rail allows you to put the rail on cover instead of the barrel. So guys will run a 13 or a 10 or whatever to save weight. And that's okay, you can do that. But you need to remember that if you're shooting from, if you post up, you you post up on a barricade, put the rail on there and not the barrel. So that's why I run a full length rail. All of my guns, whatever barrel length, will have a full length rail on them for that reason. And they're sexy. And they are sexy. I would love to g- do like a ten and a half inch. Yeah, build. me too. Um, like right now, it's just not in the cards for me. But I would love to do a, a ten and a half inch build with like, you know, either a ten ten inch rail or maybe even a longer rail and do a uh, KAK can. Yep. Uh, and it's a it's a muzzle device that directs the you know the blast forward. Or like that Noeski pig. Yeah, and the KAK is just a yep. much, much cheaper copy of yep. it. Um, but Noveski makes good stuff. They do I, make good I stuff. I wish I could afford Noveski. Yep, they uh, do make good stuff. But um, I would love to do a build like that. I think that's just sexy. Yeah. And light. And, and, and it has its use. Yeah. You know? We could get into that in another video, but that's Maybe a whole, whole other video. One. Maybe we build one. All right, man. You got anything? No. Guys, we appreciate y'all watching. Like, share, subscribe. You know what to do. Links to all of our social media outlets will be in the description box below. But like I said, man, we appreciate y'all watching. Y'all be safe.